Game 7, the end of the road for someone and the beginning of a new path for another. Who will rise to the occasion? Will the game be won on the heroics of an unknown or lost on a common blunder of a star? Effort, heart, and courage are put to the test on 200 feet of ice. The group of men who can play the hardest for the longest will be rewarded with a chance to continue their dream, a Bogart Cup and a chance at a national title. At the Jim Durrell Arena, their hard work in the regular season secured home ice in the series for the Junior Sins. After losing their star goalie, the spotlight will firmly be on Ian Adriano in Game 7. The teams have played 12 times this season, each taking 6 games. The chess match between Coach Dagenet and Coach McTavish has been a tactical masterpiece. Though the Junior Sens are the two seed, the pressure is on the Lumber Kings to win the series they led three games to one. This Game 7 began like most Game 7s. Feel out your opponent and don't make the first mistake. If you can, play the body, remind them you're here to play. After a few chances both ways, the Lumber Kings will strike first. A shot from Fraser Turner would be deflected by Felix Chamberlain, making it 1-0 Lumber Kings. And 40 seconds later, he would force Ottawa to make the first mistake of Game 7. A high stick by the CCHL Defenseman of the Year, Robert Michael, would give the Pembroke Lumber Kings the first power play of the game. Unfortunately for the Kings, the Sens were up to the task, making it difficult to generate any offense, and with less than a minute left in the power play, deadline acquisition Brandon Watt would force Stephen Bove into an interference call, giving the Sens a power play opportunity. Though not a power play goal, Sean Lynch ties the game after the puck squeaks out to him in perfect position. But the momentum was short-lived as the veteran Watt gets called for a cross-check, putting the Kings back on the power play. With the man advantage, Pembroke would control play, getting a few glorious scoring chances. but Ian Adriano would shut the door, keeping it 1-1 after 1 in Game 7 of the CCHL semifinal. After getting the first good chance of the second, the Kings then took the next two penalties. The momentum was starting to swing towards Ottawa as they came real close with the man advantage. But close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, and this Game 7 was ready to explode. After Chamberlain got called for boarding, Jordan Piccolino getting a 10-minute misconduct, and Crookshank and Beveridge going off with offsetting minors, the refs didn't want this game to get out of control. So they talked to the captains and coaches, setting up the next big moment in Game 7. Turner makes it 2-1 Lumber Kings, and to make matters worse, Connor Bebb gets called with goaltender interference, putting them a man down, but on the PK, opportunity for the Junior Saints.
Anderson ties the game, and right before the end of the second, Morelez almost tips in the go-ahead goal. Unfortunately, all they would get is a two-minute slashing call, putting the Kings on the power play to start the third period. Tension is high and the end is in sight. Early in the third, both teams would get good scoring chances, but the first big mistake was committed by the Ottawa Junior Sens. They would kill the penalty and get a power play of their own as the Lumber Kings get called with a dive with less than nine minutes left to play. A great shorthanded chance for Anthony Nellis, but Adriano keeps his team alive with a huge save. Time is ticking down, and both teams are laying it all on the line. Somebody is going home tonight, and the next goal is a one-way ticket to the Bogart Cup Final. Lumber Kings have won Game 7. The Junior Sens season is over. Coach Dagenet and his boys were down 3-1 in the series and had a spectacular season, but on this night, they don't care. The Pembroke Lumber Kings must forget about this game and focus on their next opponent, but for now, they will enjoy tonight and this win. Yes! That was dirty! Oh, you know, I Good job, man. Thank you. Last year, the Pembroke Lumber Kings were eliminated by the Carlton Place Canadians. They have been waiting all year for revenge. Winning Game 7 gives them exactly what they want. A chance to win the Bogart Cup.